In this video, we are going to talk about how to add FAQ schema on your WordPress website. So if you have a website or a blog where you want to showcase various question answers in form of an FAQ so that you can get some highlighted rich snippet results like this, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to add FAQ schema on your WordPress website. So whenever we search anything in, let's say in Google search engine, you get all the results like normal. But there are some websites which show FAQs like questions and answers below that and they are all coming from the website itself. And to have that kind of rich snippets or the highlighted FAQs in the search engine results for your website or blog, you need to add FAQ schema on that blog page. So let's dive in in the WordPress backend and I'll show you how easy it is to add FAQ schema on your WordPress website. So here we are, we are in a fresh copy of this WordPress setup. And if we go in the post section, we have some sample dummy post here. And just to make sure that we don't have any schema markup added yet, we go ahead and copy this blog post URL and we open this rich result test tool from Google itself and here we will paste this uh, blog post URL and then click on test URL. Now this is going to read our blog post HTML code and then check if there is any schema markup added on it or not. And here we can clearly see that no items detected. So it means that there is no schema markup added on this blog post. So now we come back on our WordPress backend and we go to plugins and click on add new. And from here we will search for a plugin called schema. And this is the plugin we are looking for schema and structured data for WP and AMP. And that's the plugin from magazine three itself. And you can see that it got a pretty good star rating as well as 80,000 plus active installations. So let's go ahead and install that now. And if you want to learn more about this plugin, then all the details and the website links are added in the video description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. So now the plugin is installed and activated. We go to the settings and this is a general schema setup for this website. So this is a kind of a global schema settings where you can assign your about and a contact page so that the search engines will be able to understand your website content in a much better way. So you will get all the page list here. Here we can select our about page as well as our contact page. And we can also add website schema on the home page. So once you check on that, it will be done. And we can also add site link search box. Let's check that as well. And you can add some schema on archive and you can also add breadcrumbs schema and you can also add comments schema on your WordPress website. So this plugin is not just for adding FAQ schema. It helps you add overall or a global schema settings for your WordPress website so that it will be easy for search engines to understand about the content of your website in a much better way. Once that is done, we jump on to the next option that is knowledge graph. And here we need to select data type that if this website is a, an organization or a personal blog, and depending upon your requirement, you can go ahead and select this option and fill up all the details here. And the most important thing, we have an option for AMP here. And if you are implementing AMP pages on your WordPress website, you will see a check mark option enabled here, which says structured data for AMP so that it can add schema markup on your AMP pages as well. So if you are implementing AMP on your WordPress website, then make sure you check this option when, when it's available. And once that is done, we come down to this option schema types. And here you can see that we do not have any schema added yet. So for that, we are going to click on add schema type. And this is the installation wizard we get. And on the first screen, it's asking us schema type. So what kind of schema markup we want to add on this site. So here we will choose FAQ. So this is the option we need to go with and then click on next. Once that is done, it's now giving us a placement conditions where we want to showcase this 
FAQ schema markup. So for this example, we will be adding this FAQ schema on all our blog posts. So this is the best option to select that is post type equals to post. Or if you want to add that on your pages, you can select that from here. Along with that, you can always play around with all these settings here and create various conditions with and and or. So for this example, we're going to select all post types equals to post and then click on next. All right. So now we are done with this setup. So let's go ahead and click on let's go. We come back to our plugin dashboard again. And here we can see that FAQ schema type is added. And once that is done, we go back to our posts. And now we have added FAQ schema on our WordPress website, but we have not provided the relevant data about this FAQ. Like what are these questions or what are these FAQs that are visible in the search engine results? So we need to do that on each and every blog post or on all the pages that we want this FAQ schema to be added. So right now let's go back in this rich result tool. Let's go ahead and refresh this page once and see if basic FAQ schema markup code is added on the web page or not. And now we can see one invalid item detected and the detected structured data is FAQ. So now we know that FAQ schema markup is added on our blog board, but it is showing some errors, which is obvious because we have not added anything yet for these questions or other details. So right now we can see it picking up the basic details and now we just need to fix this error. So we come back to our blog post, we click on edit on this and here on this blog post, we scroll down to the very bottom. Here we can see we have an option for modify FAQ schema output, which means that FAQ schema is already added, but we can modify the attributes and values from here. So we click on that and here we see that we have an option to add various uh, details like the headline is picking up as the blog post title. We can also add tags. So you can go ahead and do that. We have author type as person or organization. So we can select that as well. After that, we have author option. We have an option for date. So I'm just going to select any date as you want. And now we come down to the main option that is add FAQ question. So once we click on that, here is the box. We can fill the question and the answer here. So just for an example, I'm just going to fill up some dummy data here. In the same way, we are going to add another FAQ question. All right. So now we have just added some dummy data here and let's go ahead and update this page. And now we come back to this rich result test. Let's refresh this blog post one more time. And now we can see that we have one valid item detected and the data structure or the valid item detected is the structured data FAQ. If we click on that, we can see that we have all the details that we have just added. And here you can see that the schema type that is FAQ is detected here. The type is showing FAQ page and we have the question and answer listed here as we have just entered in the option on our blog post. So if you have more questions, you can keep on adding them here and do the same for rest of the other blog posts or pages, whatever you have selected in the installation setup. So this is how easy it is to add FAQ schema on your WordPress website. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to schema markup, you can go ahead and watch our complete playlist. The link is in the i button above or the video description below. And if you want to learn more about WordPress in general, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.